My name is Tamara Bounds and this is my granddaughter Cameron. I have asthma and Cameron has asthma. She often tells me it feels like an elephant is sitting on her chest. Do you know what that feels like? I'm going to tell you a little bit about Texas Bad Air Day. The air is thick and a gray sort of haze is in the horizon and you can almost smell it in the air. It causes a tightness in my chest and a nagging cough begins to happen. There's a stress put upon my lungs and my heart to even work for that added breath. Sometimes the inhaler doesn't quite do the job. Breathlessness overcomes me doing even the simplest tasks and you can hear me wheezing and when I talk and a rattling in my chest. On bad air days, Cameron is limited for playing outside. You see, she loves to play softball. And she has a hard breathing, a hard time breathing when she's playing on softball on those bad air Texas days. And I can't go for my walk. Did you know our DFW area has three times the higher asthma rate than the national average? Our North Texas children lose 140,000 days a year in asthma-related asthma attacks. We have 400 asthma-related ER visits and 100 asthma-related deaths. They will say that any type of control will cause a weak economy, and loss of jobs. But did you know employers lose about 14 million work days every year when asthma keeps an adult out of work? We lose $650 million a year in productivity. And just cutting five parts per billion of air pollution can prevent 100 deaths and increased productivity just in this area. How's that for long-lasting efforts to keep jobs and a healthy economy? I live in Mansfield. We have 512 permitted gas wells, two gas compressors on a mega site right by my house, and one coming up down the road. Did you know that oil and gas pollution is the fourth largest category of smog pollution in North Texas. It's the fourth largest category for NOx pollution, the kind that the state says causes most of the smog here in DFW. It's also the fourth largest VOC, and just converting 647 of those source points, those compressors, from diesel and gas to electricity would take over 16 tons <coughs> of NOx pollution out of the air each and every day. Texas air keeps getting dirtier, and really it has been since the 1990s. Did you know this means that the last five times Texas has come up for a sip, it has failed me and thousands of other adults and children to implement a plan to make meaningful cuts in the emissions and get our air clean. TCEQ thinks that's close enough. Section 110 of the Clean Air Act requires EPA to implement a FIP if a state implementation plan, a SIP, <coughs> fails to include measurements that will assure attainment of the national ambient air quality standards. You need to listen to us and hear us. Do you realize that our state government has failed thousands of Texas Texans for the last 20 years in this matter. That's not close enough. That's long enough. What would you like to say? This may not make a dent of what we're saying, but for all kids like me, we need clean air to breathe. Please help us. Can you state your name? Cameron Bounds. Sunshine.